Yeah. Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. We're gonna be taking the white unicorn Dodge and we're gonna go look at a gooseneck trailer today. So we're looking at a 24 foot gooseneck trailer. And the reason we need a gooseneck trailer is because we don't have any way of hauling our tractor right now. So if we wanted to take our John Deere 5065 in for service at any time, we don't have a way of hauling it. So we don't wanna pay somebody to haul it. We need a good trailer for hauling hay and for hauling stuff here on the farm. So today we found a good deal on Craigslist and we're gonna go take a look at a 24 foot flatbed trailer. It's pretty cool. And we're also gonna show you the unique system that I have in my truck for pulling a fifth wheel trailer or for pulling a gooseneck trailer. So there are two different options with this truck with this setup that I have. It's pretty cool. Come along. We'll have some fun. All right. Yes. Woo! So there's tons of different options out there for hauling farm equipment, for hauling hay, for hauling all sorts of stuff. There's deck over trailers, there's dual tandem axle deck over trailers. The trailer we're gonna go look at is not a deck over trailer, it's kind of a low boy style trailer and it has fenders. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is measure my tractor and make sure that it's gonna fit. Now the bush hog that we have is a Woods BB72, so it's a 72 inch brush cutter of bush hog and I know that will fit on there but I don't know for sure if it's wide enough to fit the tractor. So we'll measure the tractor, we'll write that measurement down and then we'll measure between the two fenders. This is a cool trailer and it's a great deal. I'm pretty happy that I found it. Hopefully this all works out. Let's do a little measuring. All right, so I'm getting about 80 to 81 inches, something like that, and I'm giving it about that much extra room. So 80, 81 inches ought to be plenty of room to fit this tractor on a trailer. Now this tractor weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of 8,500 pounds by itself with the loader. So with a bush hog and the loader, on the tractor, it's probably gonna weigh somewhere in the neighborhood of 9,000 to 9,500 pounds. And this trailer is rated at 14,000 pounds. It's a dual axle trailer. And this guy I'm buying it from bought it to carry around a skid steer that he used to clean some of his land up and he sold the skid steer and he sold the three quarter ton truck. So it's basically sitting there in his yard and I've got a little bit of leverage there because he can't even move the trailer with the truck that he has right now. Pretty cool. Let me show you the fifth wheel setup or the gooseneck setup for the back of this Dodge truck. I love my Cummins truck. Love this thing. They just don't make them like this anymore. And to replace this truck, to buy a new one like this, it cost me 70 grand. No way, dude. Too expensive. No car payments here. This thing's heavy. Whew. So this is the gooseneck setup for <laughs> you can tell I haven't used it in a while, but this is the fifth wheel setup for the back of this truck and it also has a setup for gooseneck trailer. So this is gooseneck and it has the fifth wheel kind of like you'd use for a fifth wheel camper trailer. Basically there are four holes that you line up and you drop a little pin in that hole and then you close down a latch. It's really heavy duty. It keeps the bed of the truck where I can still use it and I don't have a bunch of stuff to handle and fool with up underneath the fender. It's all done right in the bed. We'll hop in the back of the truck here and show you the system. Pretty interesting. So there's a retainer clip or pin right down in here on both sides. Slide this guy back. Grab our pins. One on one side, one on the other. And the way this works is you open these little arms just like so. Good deal. There we go. Drops into place, locks into place. Drop your pins into place. Do the other side. I might have a little adjusting to do here before we take off. We'll do this other side. Once we get it down, we get it adjusted. And basically there's a little knob underneath there that rotates in and holds this in place. All right, guys, I've got my stepdad here with me. We're gonna go look at this trailer. We're getting ready to pull up. Guy lives in a real nice neighborhood. He's a really nice fella. Don't wanna beat him in the head, but I wanna get a good deal on this trailer. 
here we are at the gooseneck trailer it's got a little toolbox on it got the gooseneck right here this is an all metal bed we've already measured in between here and it's 84 inches in between i do believe if my memory strikes me correctly it's a very very nice trailer very robustly built um, pretty happy with it. I don't want to dance around the camera too much while we're here, but I did want to show you while we were here the price on this thing. I think brand new to buy a 24 foot trailer like this. I don't know guys, post me some comments down there. Tell me what you think. This is a dual axle 14,000 pound gooseneck trailer. So pretty awesome. Very impressed. And the price is really good. I really can't can't hardly beat the guy in the head over it, but we're going to try to anyway. When we get home, I'll tell you a little bit more about the trailer. Right, folks so we got the trailer home it looks absolutely great it pulled great it was bouncy because it had no weight on it or anything like that so it pretty much bounced us to death we had about an hour and five minute drive back totally impressed everything pulled great the truck did great we're going to take you around the trailer and talk to you a little bit about why we bought this trailer for our farm and basically why we bought it as a multi-purpose trailer something that we can use for youtube something we can use for the farm something we can use to haul equipment tractors hay cars trucks everything we'll talk to you a little bit about why we didn't buy a deck over trailer a deck over trailer would mean that the tires that you see would be underneath the deck and you'd have more deck surface that means the trailer sits up a little bit higher that means you can't take a low profile vehicle up onto it without backing up to an embankment or something like that now there's a school of thought that went into practice here we bought a metal deck trailer and the reason we've been searching for a metal deck trailer or i have been searching for a metal deck trailer is because I don't want to deal with the maintenance of having a wooden decked trailer. About three months ago, we sold the Massey Ferguson 135 tractor and we've had a whole lot of wet weather here. So when we loaded up that Massey Ferguson 135 tractor, we had to pull it up on a deck over trailer, which sat up really, really high and it had wooden boards on it. Well, those wooden boards were wet. Oh, my goodness, what a dangerous situation it was to load up that Massey Ferguson 135 tractor. So the tractor itself had some older dry rotted tires. The trailer bed was wet, it was slick, it was slimy. And when we went to pull up onto the trailer, if we didn't take a little bit of speed and a little bit better angle, we would have rolled the tractor completely off of the side of the trailer. So our first attempt, we went up the back of the trailer. And when we went up, as soon as we hit the wood, the tractor tires started spinning and the entire tractor started tilting to the right. In other words, there was nothing we could do other than mash the clutch and hope it rolled backwards without going bloop right off the side of the trailer. If you've ever had any experience like this, guys, post me a comment down there. Those wooden deck trailers can be a nightmare when it comes to maintenance and they can be a nightmare when it comes to getting slick in the rain. They just turn slick as snot. So to me, a wooden deck trailer was not what we wanted to start with here on the farm. Now, at some point, we may have a wooden deck trailer. We've got a wooden deck trailer for hauling hay over in the hay field over there. But right now, we need a trailer where we can load vehicles, we can load tractors, we can load trucks, we can load the gate we can move things around the farm it's not too big it's not too cumbersome it's not too heavy and it's not going to rot and your tractor isn't going to slip off the side of it because it's got a diamond plate deck on it so let's take you around the trailer we're going to show you a few of the things that i like about the trailer basically how it's constructed and how it works and you pretty much know why we bought it so first of all let's talk about the loading deck here so this fella that had this trailer had a bobcat skid steer that he used to haul around and a small utility tractor well these two ramps were too far apart for him to get his utility tractor so he did a little extra welding on here and built the ramps a little bit sturdier which is cool it's very impressive and very awesome for loading cars and stuff that has varying widths right here with their tire spacing so it'll be good for loading the gator and it'll be good for loading the grand national if we want to so as you can see it's an all steel diamond plate deck 
cover and we'll go up here on the deck and we'll show you some of the features so the welds are very stout very stiff and there's space in between those welds to allow for water drainage so that water doesn't pool up now the fenders have been bumped it's a used trailer that's okay you've got slots down here for tie-offs and you could also use this to put two by fours in if you wanted to build a wall all the way around this trailer and make it into a giant dumpster you could totally do that so pretty cool it has a toolbox right here included with it so you can put all your tie straps and stuff like that in there it has spring loaded jacks in other words you pull this little handle and the jacks go whoop they suck up inside there so let's talk about the gooseneck portion of this trailer this allows me to take my tractor i can pull up onto the trailer i can raise my bucket and i can set my bucket right across here this allows me more room for hauling my tractor and i could actually get my tractor with the bush hog and a tiller onto the back of this trailer. Now let's talk about multiple uses. Not only can we haul cars, tractors, trucks, gator, we can also haul our hay on here too. So we can haul somewhere in the neighborhood of 24 round bales of hay on here. This opens up options as a farmer for me to deliver hay to people if I wanna sell hay and deliver hay. I can just load up the trailer, take it down the road, and I can charge a little bit more premium price for my hay. The money we have in this trailer is 4,000 bucks and it will totally pay for itself over the next few years in hay sales and hay hauling alone. All right, now let's talk about how the gooseneck attaches to the truck. There is a two and five eighths inch ball right here on the receiver and basically we just back up to it, lower it down on there, tighten a few clamps, hook some chains up in the electrical. The truck's already wired for it, it's wired for brakes and everything, and we're ready to rock and roll. So guys, I hope I provided you a little bit of food for thought. If you're choosing your own flatbed trailer or your own gooseneck trailer or fifth wheel trailer, everything we've talked about here is pretty much good food for thought. You want a trailer that can be multi-purpose. In other words, I wanted an equipment hauling trailer that I can use to haul hay and farm implements. And that's what I got. So guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I hope you learned a little bit about trailers. I hope you're happy for us. We got ourselves a nice gooseneck trailer that we can use here on the farm to move stuff around. And I look forward to seeing you again here next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. Thanks a lot. We'll see you again soon. Woo! Land of the free.